Hey, and welcome to the first episode of MTG Alpha. We'll have 1v1 commander videos, four player commander videos, deck techs, and more on our channel. I'm Anthony. I'm Jim. And today we're playing some 1v1 commander. I'm playing jury. And what I plan on doing is doing like a lot of sacrifice aristocrats, you know, shenanigans like that. I, um, I do also have her grid in the deck so if i can get that out i'm hoping to maximize on all of the uh triggers that i will be um be doing with jury and what are you uh what are you playing uh today i'm playing gashath sun's avatar aims to ramp out on the early turns and then play some big beefy dinos to kind of go in for the win awesome You'll be going first since you won the die roll. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's get started. All right. So I'm going to draw seven cards. And I, I will keep this. Um, I'll keep as well, yeah. All right. I'll start off with a forest and pass. So uh, I'll draw a card and... I will play. I'll play a swamp and pass the turn. All right. I'll draw. Play a mountain. And I'll pass. I'll draw. I'm going to play a mountain and. I'm gonna tap that mountain for a skull clamp. Nice. And I will pass. Okay. Draw, play a jungle shrine tapped. And pass the turn. Alright. Draw. I'll play a swamp. And I will play Whisper Silk Cloak. And that's it. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. And I'll tap three for Rhythm of the Wild. And that's it. Pass the turn. All right. I'm going to play Mountain. Cast Arcane Signet. So I have three mana. I'm going to tap the Signet and all my lands for Magus of the Wheel. Ooh. Um, and then I'll pass. Okay. Untap everything. Draw a card. Tap the jungle shrine for a green a forest and a mountain. Play a runic armasaur. Um, whenever an opponent activates the ability of a creature or land that isn't a mana ability, I may draw a card. Okay. And uh, since I've got Rhythm of the Wild out, he's got Riot as well. I'll choose to give him a plus one, plus one counter. All right, and that's it. I'll pass the turn after that. All right, I am going to cast my commander. I will play a Phyrexian Tower as my land for turn. Yeah, I'm gonna tap the Signet, a Mountain, and a Swamp. Cast Merciless Executioner. So when he enters, each of us will sacrifice a creature. Ooh. Okay. So I'll choose the Merciless Executioner. Uh, I will get a counter on Jury for sacrificing a permanent. Go to combat, and I will attack with Magus of the Wheel. Okay, taking three. I'll pass the turn. Uh, tap two, cast a Gruel Signet, and pass the turn. Playing Opal Palace. I'm gonna tap a swamp to cycle Desert of the Glorified. Uh, actually, that costs two, so I'll tap the mountain as well. So I'll pay two to cycle this land. Draw a card. All right, and I will cast Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Let's see, I could. And you have six cards in hand? Yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tap out and actually I only cost two. So, um, 
I'll keep the Phyrexian Tower untapped. So I'll tap the Arcane Signet and Opal Palace to tap Magus of the Wheel, sacrificing him. So each of us will discard our hand and draw seven cards. That'll trigger Jury, and I will get another counter. Okay. Discard my hand. Draw seven. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to play a Prismatic Vista as my land for turn. Tap, pay a life, sack it. That'll trigger Jury. Get another counter. And I will get a basic land. I'm going to grab a swamp. Shuffle my library. So I have two mana to play around with. I'm actually just going to pay two to attach Whisper Silk Cloak onto my commander. And I will go to combat and swing with Jury who's currently a 4-4. Four, four. Taking 4, 4 commander damage. Right, and then I'll pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap. Draw a card. Play a Sun Petal Grove. Untap, because I control the forest. Tap the forest and two others. Draw a Wayward Sword too. He will enter with a counter on him. Because of Rhythm of the Wild. Um, because of Wayward Sword Tooth, play an additional land for turn, and I will then pass. I got all the sack outlets, you just need something to say. Yep, and here he is. So I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast Grave Titan, get two two twos. Nice. That way I have something to sack now. Um, yeah, I'll play a, I'll play a bounce land, bring the uh, swamp back to my hand. Hmm. I might actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna activate the priest's um, ability. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tap priest of forgotten okay. gods. Sacrifice the two zombies. Uh, that'll tr trigger jury twice. So I'll get two more counters. Um, so any number of target players each lose two life. Sacrifice a creature, and then I'll add two mana to my mana pool. I'll use that two black mana floating and I'll tap the signet for red to cast Mayhem Devil. And I will then go to combat and swing with Jury, who is a 6-6. Six, six. I'm taking six. Draw a card. Play a Sacred Foundry untapped. Lose two. I'll tap seven. Play a Verdant Sun's Avatar. When this card or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to its creatures, equal to that creature's toughness. Okay. So, so I'll gain five. Um, he will enter with a counter on him. So I think I'll gain six, right? Right. Yeah. Because a uh, rhythm of the wild. Right. So. Yeah. So you're gonna give him the plus one counter instead of uh, haste. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you'll gain six. So he's a 6-6 six, six now, um, and I'll pass after that. All right. All right. I'm going to cast Plague Crafter. So when he enters, each okay. player sacrifices a creature. I will sacrifice the Plague Crafter. I'll sack my Verdant Sun's Avatar. All right. So that'll trigger Mayhem Devil and Jury. I'll deal one damage to you, and get a counter. Jury is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm going to pay 4 for Hell's Caretaker. So I can tap and sacrifice a creature and return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield only during my upkeep. Nice. So I will go to combat. I will swing with the Mayhem Devil, Jury, and Grave Titan. When he attacks, I'll get two, two, two zombies. Got a lot of, a lot of damage coming at you. Well, I got no blocks, so it's uh, <laughs> sixteen. Okay, taking sixteen, down to twelve. Got seven commander damage. Up to seventeen commander damage. 
right. and see what I can pull off. Yeah, I think I'll pass after that. Okay. I'll untap, draw a card, play a forest, two, two, two zombies, and a one, two, priest of the forgotten gods. Yep. Oh, and a one, one, hell's caretaker. Okay. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For Gashath, Sun's Avatar. Nice. He'll enter with a counter. From Rhythm of the Wild. Yep. And then I will move to combat. Alright. <laughs> um, attack. Hmm. With Gashath. Yep, so that's uh, uh, that's when he deals combat damage, correct? Yeah. Alright. He's got uh, Trample, Vigilance, and Haste. I'm going to block with the priest. Before damage, I will tap the priest, sacrifice the two zombies. Okay. Um, that'll I'll deal two damage to you from Mayhem Devil, since that'll trigger twice. I will get two counters on Jury. You will have to sacrifice a creature. I'll gain two black mana and draw a card. Yeah. And then, yeah. My turn? Yep. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. And I will go to combat and I will just swing with everything. Four, four, four. <laughs> All right. All right. Good game. Good yeah. game. So you, uh, what other, what did you have left in your hand? You, had, you still had four cards in your hand, right? Yeah, here, let me clear the board. Um, these were my other four cards. Um, Swords of Plowshares, I guess I was saving for a rainy day. And then I drew these, I drew all of them off of the uh, Magus of the Wheel. Yeah, the Swords of Plowshares is kind of hard because it's like, I mean, maybe you could target the Grave Titan, but everything else is kind of like, kind of, flows under the radar for a little bit until it just gets a yeah. lot out of control. Definitely. Yeah, Regal Behemoth is that's definitely a card. Yeah, it was good, but uh, I felt like I had a decent amount of mana at the time. So mana production wasn't really my uh, my concern. I was just trying to block some of the damage. Yeah. So I played Verdant Sun's Avatar thinking I would gain some life. Uh, what did your hand look like? I had... Revel in Riches, which I kind of thought about playing, but I, I was I kind of had like a good control over like the board state, so I didn't really see myself. Yeah, it's something that better. takes time, and you really gotta yeah wait for it. If I had nothing else to play, that would have would have definitely been something. Um, Feed the Swarm, I considered um, targeting. Uh, what was it? The the yeah the Verdant Sun's Avatar, but. Okay. That's a that's a lot of a lot of damage to take for it. And luckily, I drew yeah. into the merciless executioner. I believe it was or the play crafter. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, everything else is just kind of me. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, we really do appreciate it. Uh, please do us a favor: like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, it really help us out. Help us gain more exposure so we can continue to produce more videos for you guys. Um, again, this is our first video. Um, we're MTG Alpha, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, everyone.